Charlie Silcock. I'm a pro drifter here in the UK. Squad PS13 that we're going to be running through the British Drift Championship and some other events this year. I actually got involved in motorsport probably when I was about 11, 12 years old. Building the first motorbike out of the box of pits. And then I started doing motorbike trials as a schoolboy. Did a bit of autocross and some track days until I discovered drifting. And that was quite a polarizing experience because it looked hella cool. My first competition in drifting was 2013 for the British Drift Championship. Um, I'd just got my license and I wasn't really sure how it was gonna go, but first event, straight out of the gate, qualified second. <laughs> favourite track in the UK is probably going to be Teesside Autodrome for drifting because that's kind of been the, the staple go-to for a lot of us for practice days um, and there's been some great events there. Some of my best successes have been at Teesside Autodrome. But we did get the opportunity with Motorsport UK and Time Attack last year to actually go and drift the Brands Hatch um, as part of the drift demonstration and that was quite an eye opener, the sort of speeds that we were able to carry for the, for the massive crowds huge corners, that was, uh, that was an epic experience at Brands, I never thought we had to there. Historically I've always prepared the car myself with help from friends, um, including quite a full on rebuild over the past few years, but as of 2020 I partnered with JD Motorsport Engineering who were able to kind of push the race program on, help me with setups, track support and that's really levelled up the game and just been able to let me focus more on the driving and really improve our results. So the sort of preparation we do between races is quite involved compared to how it used to be. I mean, we're, we're running basically a full-scale GT car for all intents and purposes, so sequential gearbox, nitrous systems. Every time that we get back, it's a full strip down of all the bodywork, clean everything, nut and bolt check. Also, change every single fluid every time just to be safe. And the motile products that we're using, it really helps prolong the life of the gearbox, the engine, the differential, and it's that sort of thing which kind of keeps you consistent on the track. Um, and that's a good lesson I've learned at JD Motorsport the past year is the more reliable everything is running, the more likely you are to get results because you're always going to be on track every time. My fondest memory or most memorable race was probably Teesside in 2014. Um, it's back when there used to be three classes and I was in the intermediate class. I was leading the intermediate championship at the time, um, but I'd actually qualified to compete in the top level class, which was the, back then the Super Pro class and I still managed to knock some people out in that and get through to the great eight. Alongside all that, I managed to top the podium in the intermediate class two, which saw us really far ahead of everybody else in the points at that stage of the season. And that was a really satisfying weekend. Free time wise, quite often I'll be practicing on the driving simulator. So that's kind of taken off a lot since COVID came into play with a lot more people moving online. Aside from drifting, I play airsoft when I can. But when we get time over the off season, then we're out in the woodlands playing around with that, um, doing a bit of downhill mountain biking to try and keep fit as well. Top of business I'm actually involved in road transport and moving emergency water around the country. Coronavirus obviously had a massive effect on the motorsport industry in 2020, but we were quite lucky in the fact that whilst many events were getting cancelled, the British Drift Championship was able to run behind closed doors. Work-wise, I wasn't affected too much because the industry I work in, we were key workers. Um, so whilst there were extra measures and steps we had to take to stay safe, we were still able to keep doing our jobs and going to work. <laughs> We got involved with Motol uh, during 2020 because having invested so much in the engine and the drivetrain, like the HGT position and the sequential gearbox, a lot of things were actually starting to specify Motol because it's a known, trusted, quality brand. Great foods, the RB660, which we use because it's got great aversion to heat, so we're not going to get heat soaked into the brake and clutch. Power steering wise, we actually found that Dextron 3 from Motol works a lot better because it's got slightly thicker viscosity so we were getting better feel from the power steering. Probably the most important oil that we run is the engine oil because it's a fully forged engine running at very tight tolerances so we use the X-Power 8100. Having chatted through with Motol Technical Department we kind of came to the conclusion that's the oil we should be using because it suits our application. So with drifting it's not like you're doing lots and lots of laps with a long warm-up time. Quite often you're just sat in the queue for a little while and then it's 30 seconds of absolute flat output and maximum load on the engine. 
for the rest of 2021 is to start looking at building the next step in our journey. So JD Motorsport and I have had some crazy ideas on what we want to do for our next car build and we want to build that to a standard that could see us move further abroad, potentially take part in worldwide competitions. Um, yeah, we want to do something quite special, so watch this space. With drifting and motorsport in general is that we see drifting really developing across the world. Um, starting to become a big sport and we'd really like to be a part of pushing that forward. So that's been me, Oli Silcott. I hope you've learned a little bit more about what we're doing with our drift program and if you'd like to follow us and keep tabs on our progress you can find us on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. Definitely like to thank Motol for this opportunity though. It's been uh, it's been really great working with Motol for the past year and I'm looking forward to the 2021 season working together. <laughs>